I'm here today to give you an update on ENS here, okay? And um, you can see we're gonna be starting off from a market structure perspective, and this will be a technical analysis video. And we'll be breaking this down, trying to find some key, um, key levels for this asset and potentially some buying zones, some DCA areas, and um, also some maybe swing and scalp trades as well, okay? So let's get deep down and dirty into this update and let's see what we're currently working with. So the first thing I'm gonna be going through is market structure, okay? So the market structure obviously right now is bullish, okay? So you've got the, the, the bear market low here is actually down at around $6.62. From that point, you've got higher lows coming through at 736, 768, 1172. And um, you can see, obviously, we set a new higher high coming through from here. And uh, this wick is uh, disgusting, to say the least. But um, this higher low market structure point is still going to be a point of reference there. So as long as we are above $11.72, this will stay in a macro bullish market structure, which is interesting. Why is it interesting? Because even if we fluctuate, this is horrific. 48% to the downside here, we will still actually be in a bullish market structure, okay? So if you are long in this, if you are spot trading this, or sorry, if you're if you're spot trading this from a from a long perspective for the for the long haul here, then um please expect fluctuations here. If you if 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 the chart does fall, 48% is still obviously going to be bullish here, all right? That will be a massive, massive area for support as we have seen previously. Um, if we look at the momentum from this area, super, super strong, 49% to the upside before uh, a little pullback after that. And then previously, um, in terms of uh, the market structure and how that was set in before, momentum, obviously 2.34x there, really, really bullish from that point there. So um, quite a nice, clean slot of momentum. So what does that tell us, guys? It tells us even if you are to pull back 48% or whatever it was, down to this higher low market structure point, then I would expect quite a nice, juicy, bullish bounce from that zone, okay? It's very likely to um, to respect market structure as we have seen um, in previous price action, even after significant dumps to the downside like so, okay? So um, yeah, wouldn't be too worried here. You're still breaking highs, okay? Breaking highs um, in this current market sentiment, like it's super bullish, okay? So you broke your high four days ago on the 1st of July, and uh, you can see how valid actually these volume weight ATR bands here. The test when you see these together, the 12 hour, the eight hour, and the three day here. Look at that for a short position if you ever wanted one. That is um, a God mode position there, obviously breaking all time highs. Volume weight ATR bands on the macro, consolidating into one, and then having that uh, massive rejection point coming through. So let's talk about where we're at right now and how this is currently reacting to the market. So obviously we have seen a massive dump for Bitcoin, okay? Only naturally we're gonna see coins, a lot of altcoins follow that as long as the Bitcoin dominance is climbing, okay? So we have seen that come into fruition today for ENS, okay? Now, what are we looking at? What are we looking at right now? Obviously clear MAs here, and we've got the 21, we've got the 55, and we've got the 200 EMA coming down. The thing that is actually catching my eye right now is this potential bullish hammer stick candle chart pattern, okay? If we can get a bullish hammer stick candle, I can't say that, a bullish hammer stick candlestick chart pattern. <laughs> a bullish hammer stick. If we can get a bullish candlestick, you know what I'm trying to say, right? So yeah, if we can get that at, after this dip, that usually is a sign of a reversal, okay? The fact that this is behaving bullishly compared to the rest of the market already does insinuate more upside is on the cards. What I would be looking for for a potential trade here, it's it's going to be a move after claiming the 55. We know the support on the 55 can be really nice, as we have seen here. Nice big bounce, 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 bounce. Even after losing it, if we can get a candle body close above here, 8% move here to the upside here. And just going back in history again, guys, 55, you can see level of support, candle body close above, super, super strong there. Level of support, candle body close above, super strong. Again, candle body close above, even after seeing massive price fluctuation for the daily there, you're still seeing a nice move to the upside after that test, all right? And the fact that this is, um, I mean, what, this is the third test here? 
Usually, unfortunately, the, the more tests you have, the, the less likely it is to happen here. But the fact that we, we came down and near enough tested the, uh, the 200 there, that's probably enough conviction for me for a little move to the upside. Won't be going for the full 8%. Just to clarify that, guys, we'll be breaking it down from more of a... Um, just got Biden, <laughs> Biden syndrome. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, we'll be breaking it down from more of a. Um, that got me, bro. Um, breaking it down from more of a um, a micro perspective here, and uh, obviously getting take profit levels. We're not just going to blindly be going for eight percent. That's not very smart. We need four take profits through a position like this, and then once we hit our first take profit, we take our stop loss and move our stop loss to our entry point. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do. I want to go back to the daily. What was it? Yeah, it was the daily. And I want to mark in this 55. Okay, I want to mark in this 55 here. And uh, then we're going to go back to the four hour and look at that. Okay, and look at the difference between the 55. And obviously, we've got the 200 EMA coming up as well here on the four hour as well. So um, super, super interesting there because that will bring TP of around 5.46%. Um, and remember guys, we can seriously reverse off this. The next point of conviction is the 7SMA coming down quite aggressively, okay? This is a problem, okay? It's a problem because it's actually a really good strategy following the trend and shorting this for 1% when we hit it. So at the moment, right now on the four hour, it's quite likely that this 7SMA comes down and we find a bit more resistance for it. If we don't, because we already have, and we see us reclaim that as well as the 55, there's some more conviction for you. There's some more um, positive positive data for us to see a nice move to the upside here. If you want to be super safe, you can probably just go for 1% as a, as a singular TP here. But um, yeah, overall, not going to go into too much detail um, from now, but overall, it's looking bullish uh, for this, for a position momentum. Super, super low here as expected. Stochastic, uh, really low as well basically giving us signs for uh, a move to the upside. We do also have a, uh, a main anchor here, um, which is essentially super low momentum. And then we haven't actually broke that low momentum yet again. So what this means, guys, okay, if we look at this in terms of the price here from this low to this low, it's actually a momentum divergence, okay? So momentum diverge. I watched the film Divergent the other day. And every time I think of or say divergence, it, uh, it just reminds me of that now. But yeah, we've got a momentum divergence here, a bullish one, uh, to say the least, when we see this uh, bullish circle coming to fruition here with stochastic. Also got money flow here. Um, yeah, this is looking really, really clean for a nice move to the upside here. So yeah, super, super happy on that. I'm definitely going to be getting involved with this from a position standpoint. But the conviction I'm looking for is the daily 55 to clear that and also the uh, the 7 SMA on the, uh, the one hour. And then we're looking for around a... 5 to 8% move to the upside, obviously staggering those TPs as we go. That is going to be it for um, ENS update today. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you like the, if you like the content, <laughs> make sure you hit a little like on it. And um, yeah, turn the notification bell on. You're never going to miss one of the uploads. That's going to be it for me. Peace out for now.